Hello everyone, Solomon here. I'm at work. June 11th, about 10.30 p.m. Ah, here it is, the work simulator. American Industry. American Industrial Medical Complex. It follows me wherever I go. I'm actually at one of the more quiet, low-key hospital locations. Except when I'm there, oh look, the numbers are up. Oh look, it's busier. Oh look, this isn't good, the numbers, they're, it's getting busier, yeah. When I show up, everything gets all fucking busy. People aren't paid well. Things are shit. You know. And it's only when I show up, you know. Everyone else, you know. Oh, I'm retired. You know? Yeah, I had a great time. It's shit. It's always a shit show. It's always a shit show. And because of it, it's, I'm just like... Seriously? Fuck it, you know? Kick back. Some people are just like, kick back, you know? Eating sushi for lunch. And just kick it back. Those who care the least, win. It's just another day, you know. You just keep lying. You just keep putting on a show. And you collect your uh, bi-weekly paycheck, hoping that you don't get fired. Uh, the next turn of turn around. So they just called me in for Friday, double shift. Saturday, double shift. Those are supposed to be my two off days, Friday and Saturday. And Sunday double shift. That's a thousand dollars each day before taxes. So I'm making three thousand dollars for the weekend. Which isn't a lot of money. Um that's how much some people spend on liquor on a night out. That's only three or four uh, hours at a club easily you know is the juice worth the squeeze hell no but that's what you gotta do to Operate consistency, persistency, building resilience. Sadly, money is wasted or grifted or scammed. And the only thing worth it is probably like a condo or an apartment, a home. I don't even know. Uh, they, you'll feel grifted or you'll feel scammed after paying. Ta property taxes and all these repairs and you know hiring you know construction people and whatnot to fix your home and plumbers and electricians so I would probably go with the condo and pay the monthly HOA fee and even then you pay the monthly monthly HOA fee for several years and you'll still feel jilt you know grifted that way or maybe you're like, fuck it entirely, I'm just gonna rent. You can do that too. And all for what? You'll have an extra hour or 30 minutes of sleep. You won't have to commute to work. Some people can work at home these days. But anyways, 
the large majority of your time will be spent working. Mm -hmm. That is just the reality of it. So I'm making an extra two thousand dollars for two days I'm not supposed to be working. That I'm supposed to be off. I was making eight hundred and seven dollars a week on unemployment. Doing nothing. Now I'm making one thousand dollars a day for Friday and Saturday. 16 hour shifts. Um, hmm. A thousand dollars a day. I don't know. Maybe if I worked for like a A super ultra like really good company a thousand dollars a day and um, hmm. let's see there's 365 days a year um, they're divided by uh, 52 weeks no 365 divided by, let's see, 14, so every 14 days, so you get 26 paychecks, you get 26 paychecks a year, bi-weekly paychecks a year. Anyways, you get taxed. It's not worth it. I mean, I already know how my life unfolds if I wasn't working. I've been col I've collected unemployment and maxed out on it three times in my life. Each time, I just collected. I just experienced the thrill of collecting, and the thrill of not doing anything. Playing video games, watching porn. Just living out my days not doing anything. That was my joy in life. Just not doing anything. Knowing that people are suffering, working, and toiling their lives away was my entertainment. Uh, I was just globally aware of this. Um, like some kind of like weird superhero char like character in, in StarCraft. In Heroes of the Storm, like Arbiter, um, the cockroach thing, he would just stand back in the game and dig in the ground and just spawn out mil minion the minions to do his dirty work. That's what I felt like. You you never even need, even need to uh, show up in the battlefield. You just can dig a hole in your freaking base and just send out your goons and they do all they'll harvest all the harness all the experience but you just have to be near near close enough within a vicinity to collect all the exp experience and whatnot other than that you don't need to physically fight or anything or do much of the work yourself except asset allocation as time you know runs uh, everyone just gets X amount of gold and whatever and from participating and that's how I was that's what I was like just an arbiter some kind of like cockroach creature just spawning out you know minions and, and making money I mean my goal was to spawn out million, minions and 
you know, fight a war, but, you know, this, this is basically just to make money. I think everyone wants that in life, selfishly wants that in life. And just replace the minions with children, and there you go. Their, their children are making them money. But this world doesn't allow that unless you are a top dog, unless you are some kind of entrepreneur, unless you own your own real estate uh, and, uh, you know, lease your property, rent your property out to people. Within itself is is mind-blowingly difficult and challenging. The unit itself would be a million dollars and uh, they actually had one in Montclair for $800,000 right before COVID. You get eight units, newly built units for $800,000. I'm pretty sure it's more than a million dollars by now. And you, you can just like rent out these units, these one bedroom units to people. Is that all? Of course not. You know, some people are not going to pay you shit. Some people are squatters. Some people are going to just be douchebags and be like, I have to pay child support. I don't, I don't have money to pay rent. And you're just looking at them like... And some people do that. They just stand there like fucking asshole donkeys. And they're like, I can't pay. And they're always there. They're omnipresent. There's always that douchebag. The welfare queen. Just doing that shit. And it's just, it's just... So whose shoes would you rather be in? You know, the poor landlord who has to, you know, hustle and grind and, you know, be the property manager? as well as the owner or of his little entrepreneur uh, real estate or would you rather just be the douchebag you know telling everyone I can't pay I don't have money I'm a squatter you have to make that decision at some point right now I'm at work you know I'm getting a taste of what it's like to step up my game and feel what it's like to be that property manager um again I, I know what it's like being being both faces playing both hats I collected unemployment three times in my life um and it's this time to step in my game uh, society has served me I don't need to rely on criminal, being a criminal for money. It's just, you know, I was treated fairly and I should not be a douchebag character in, in the world. I shouldn't. Um, or anyone else in my uh, position. There were jobs and I went after it. And the opportunities were there. So, let's go. So, despite everything, you know, there's no war, there's no, you know, I have a job, I'm not stuck in school doing my master's or PhD and, you know, the professor's an asshole trying to make money off of kids, failing them out, and then having them repeat everything just so that you can collect another, you know, tuition money, paycheck stub. Um, I don't have my own real estate I don't have my big you know my own thing going on my million dollar company um but uh maybe it's for the best I don't have responsibilities in hiring other people and it makes my life easier and I just collect my W-2 do my taxes and that's it no I don't have to hire a CPA and whatnot maybe that's the best for someone like me it's just too much it's just too much so thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Keep your life simple and happy. See you next one. Peace out.